you might think there's nothing more basic than a camera strap. You just attach it to your camera and away you go, right? Well, no, because you might be actually attaching it wrong. Uh, so today I'm going to talk to you uh, about some things uh, that you you know that can make your photography better, make it worse. Uh, some tips and tricks on um, how to keep your camera safe from accidents, etc. Uh, but first, first today I'm going to show you how to attach it to your camera the correct way. So the one thing that annoys me the most is when you're out shooting and you got a uh, this little piece here that just sort of flops around and gets in the way of the controls and it's sort of if it's windy you can yeah it's very annoying. Uh, so I'm going to show you today how to make it look like this one here. It doesn't have that hanging out. So now I'm going to show you how to properly attach your camera strap. So you first start in the usual way with your buckle. Whoops. So you slide that on but it's important that the buckle, after you've done this, is on the outside of the strap. So the outside being there, not the inside, it's like that. Then you slide on your little plastic collar. And it's very important that the plastic collar is below the buckle. So not up the top here, it's important that it's at the bottom towards the end. And you attach it to the camera mounting point in the usual way from the bottom upwards, so like that. And then we're going to go through the plastic or rubber collar, which is always easier said than done. Then we're going to make a loop in this buckle here. So just thread a piece of slack through like that. Now normally you'd put this piece of uh, slack end part through the that way and then go up like that, but that's where you're getting that slack. If you went through in the normal way, a lot of people do that and that's how you end up with that. So you want to go through the top towards the actual strap first. So I'll just pull a bit more slack through because it's getting tight. Again, this is easier said than done. <laughs> so we're going in through the top. Like so. And then we're going to just go straight through towards, back towards the camera again underneath. Now when it's all pulled tight, you will see that this piece of slack that's normally up here, like this, getting in the way of everything, you'll see that that piece of slack is now wedged between the two parts of the strap, once it's all together. So there, it's, you don't get the annoying slack. And then you grab the plastic collar, and you slide it over all three pieces, like that. And that's it, that's how it's done. So now I'm going to show you how to uh, use your camera strap uh, to take really stable pictures, uh, so you don't get any camera shake or anything like that. So basically, once you've got your strap attached, you then want to Tuck your elbows into your sides and use the camera strap and tighten the camera strap like so and that way you can easily move the camera around 
by using how tight the strap is. Now if you're really low down and you need to look up and stabilise your camera, you can just put, the, put it through your, your foot, your camera strap, and just pull up on the camera and that'll give you the same as if it were around your neck. So I hope that some of the videos today have been useful uh, on some tips on how to use your camera strap properly. Um, it's my first YouTube video, so apologies for the uh, not so good quality, but uh, there'll be more to come and hope to see you again. Thank you.